supposed to be here today because I was supposed to work and I did work, but they only had a, one person that refused, so I didn't have any. And the hospital's way down right now. And so uh, I asked Jeanette, so Jeanette's going to bring forth the word. Everybody likes her better anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing from up here? Yeah, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, okay? God is good. Yes. All, the all the time. All the time. God, God is good. good. He's an awesome God. Yes, amen. He's an awesome God. And you guys know that song. It, still, it dances in my head. I tell you about this song, and it does, and it's singing in my head right now. I always ain't going around up in there. Sometimes I find things because there's so much up there. Sometimes I find something and pull it out, but it's in there. It's in there. It's in there. It is. You dance, you know, over me. He's dancing where I am unaware. You sing all around. Because he said, I'll never leave me, no for sin. But I never hear the sound. Lord, I'm amazed by you. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed by him, day in and day out, day in and day out. Lord, I'm amazed by you. Lord, I'm amazed by you. How you love me. Aren't you amazed how he yes, loves you? He loves you enough to die on Calvary's cross, right? Yeah. How I How deep, how great huh. is your love for me? You know, that song like that just goes over and over in my head. Amen, amen. Because I just love his word and I love his music. I do, I just love his music. I was out yesterday in the yard and I had my little CD playing. You know, you're out in the country, you can do whatever you want. So I got to keep blaring. I'm out in the country, okay? And I'm dancing and praising them. I'm moving wood, dance a little bit more, move a little more wood, but God is good. And you know, I wasn't dancing a whole lot when I saw that little snake. I was kind of dancing like that, okay? And I'm thinking, I'm going to get my old hole, okay? And I just, okay? Dance snake, dance snake, okay? <laughs> then I dance some more. <laughs> God is good. I had prayed over that wood pile, Lord Jesus, let there be nothing in there, Lord Jesus, or don't let it scare me, whatever it is, okay? So they're like bees and bugs and slugs and this and that and frogs and toads and, and snakes. And I was like, oh, Lord, well, we got this. We got this. Okay, I'm going to tell on myself. Oh, I won't. Well, I better not. Could you record that? Okay, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> okay, we'll pass on that one. But God is so good. He's good all the time. And all the time, my God is good. Good to see my sister-in-law and brother-in-law here. They're swarming, they say. They come to Ohio looking for gizzards. That's right. They come looking for gizzards. No gizzards in Minnesota. But yeah, they've had their fill of gizzards, and they'll probably be on their way now, so I don't know. But God is good. Okay, he's good all the time. I want you to turn to Psalms 139. 139 for me. Amen, amen. When you get there, let me hear you say amen. Amen. Darren, you got there fast. <laughs> <laughs> really fast. Amen. That's two of you. Amen, amen. 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 One thirty-nine. Psalms one thirty-nine. Amen. I'm going to read a little bit of that. See, because like my husband says, yeah, he says that I was going to bring forth the word. And I'm always like, Lord, I don't know. What do you want me to say? What should I say? What, what scripture should I bring forth? And then I think about it. All 66 books are good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And no matter what you say and what you bring forth, it's the word of the Lord. So, because years and years ago, you know, because I guess I should be up here like, you know, I don't know, oh, I'm going to think, but that's just not me. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Because even if I just read you a few scripture, you should be excited about it because God wrote it for you. You know, God is good. He wrote it because he loves you. Amen. Okay? And he's given us this word today because he loves us. All 66 
folks in this Bible, God loves us. He's an awesome God and he's great and yep. to be praised. Lord Jesus, because it's not in myself, it's in him. You know? And, and no matter, like I said, no matter what I bring forth, this is word. Mm -hmm. Years and years ago, when I first came here, I prayed for a boldness. Because before, believe it or not, I used to be shy. <laughs> I know. And most folks don't believe that. Because <laughs> most of that now, every now and again, you know, you get butterflies here and there. But you know what? Most of that is just gone. God is just so good. He is. He, he, he gives you the opportunity to share your heart. And again, like I said, when Pastor Mark said, hey, why don't you do this because I'm, I'm going to have to work a second. Sometimes I do. I might as well not even lie. Oh, no. Here we go. I don't have a thing, and what am I going to do? But every time, without failing, yes. the Lord, the Lord will give me a word, just give me a scripture to read, and He'll He'll send His Holy Spirit, and He'll expound them right. through me. This is who He is, because He said He'll never leave us, nor forsake us. Amen. Right. Ruthie's waiting on me. You know what that means, right? <laughs> He'll never leave us, nor forsake us. That's what that means. That's what He said. So in Psalms one thirty nine, I'm going to read a little bit of that. I'm going to start at one. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts are far off. We're going to stop that because he knows your very thoughts. He says whatever you're thinking, he knows that already, right? Thou compassest my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O oh Lord, Thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether I flee from, my, from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I make the wings of the morning, morning, and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea. Even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for expounding on your word, for bringing your word to your people with spiritual ears tuned in to receive all that you that they that you have for them this day, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would stir up that gifts within in me, Lord, that I will bring you the word, Lord Jesus, that you have put in my spirit to share with your people this day. Lord, we give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. My Lord, my Lord, oh, the blood of Jesus. And you guys know it's usually just when I get up here, this is when my nose is going to run. I can't blow my nose for days until I get up here, okay? It's just something about this. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> this blood right on the camera. God is good. That's all right. That's all right. God, good thing. Good thing he gave me a bonus. That's all right. God is so good. And he's good all the time. Yes, he is. See, and I wanted to tie to this. And I know it's going to, what I've been thinking about is, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Because of what Jesus did on Calvary's cross, this word is true to us, to, to, to my spirit. To me, it's, tr it's a true word. My Lord, he knows me. Before I was formed in my mother's womb, he knew me. And because of his shed blood on Calvary's cross, I'm able to walk into the Holy of Holies and praise him and worship him as I see fit this morning. See, in some places in the world, they're not able to do this. Right. See, in the United States, we're just fall, we're riding, we're riding. We have the ability to come boldly, seek his face, and to praise his name. And most of the time, we choose not because we have too many other things that, that, that are pressing. We're busy being busy being busy until that trump call uh, sounds. When that trump sounds, we won't be busy being busy being busy. My God, my God, he's able, but he's faithful and just to forgive us of all unrighteousness. Amen. My Lord, aren't, aren't you happy he loves you today? Yes. yes, amen. He loves you like we just read in Psalms. He knows your every thought, but yet still he still loves you. 
Because I think about my every thought. And sometimes people do, they can push that button. And I'm thinking things I ought not to think. I don't want to take their heads off or anything. I just want to slap a little bit. Just, just, get their attention. just get their attention. You know what I mean? But he knows my every thought. But yet and still, he loves me. He loves me. He loves me in my shortcomings. Because do you think anything takes him by surprise? No. no. Is he ever surprised? No. no. No, God is never surprised. So he knew what I was going to do before I was formed in my mother's womb. See, he knows every hair, even the weed hair, that's normal on my head. My God knows me. He knows me. And he loves me. Isn't that awesome? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you get so many things out in this world right now. The United States is obsessed with youth. Okay? Mm -hmm. You get 50 years old, they think you're old. Yep. They do. But I don't care what they talk about. I'm still looking good. I'm not worried about all that. I don't even worry about it. Right, Mom? We're not worried about that. 50, 60, we're good. God has blessed us. He's blessed us. Amen. 70, I know. Still looking good. Still looking good. God is so good. Because he blesses you and he loves you. Amen. He does. He does. And, 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 he, and he lives in us. You know, and this joy that I have, you know, this light that shines within me, you know, it shows up on the outside. Amen. Yeah, a lot of times you can tell when you meet a Christian. It's something about them. Something about you. There ought to be something about us. Yeah. Amen. You know what I mean? Because he says not to hide that light under a bushel. There's something right. about us. Amen. Because we love him. We know what he did and how he sacrificed on Calvary Cross. And I just broke the mic. How he sacrificed. Amen. Amen. For us. How he came and he died a horrible death for us. Oh, the blood of Jesus. I want you to turn to Hebrews 10. Go to Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10 and 19. Before you were formed your mother's womb, he knew you. You can't hide from him. You can't run from him. His arm is not too short where he can't find you. There's no hiding place. And when you need him, there's no place too low where you can't reach up for him and he's reaching right back down for you. It's just because of the blood of Jesus, because he loves you. Hebrew 10 and 19. Are you there? You hear you say amen. 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 Hebrews 10 and 19. Speaking of the blood of Jesus. Having therefore, brother, in boldness and enter into the holy, the holiest by the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way, which he has consecrated for us through the, through the veil, that is to say, his flesh. And having, in high, and having a high priest over the house of God. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Oh, the blood of Jesus. You see, the blood of Jesus has washed you white as snow this morning. He's washed you white as snow. And you know there's still power in that blood. Amen. My God, and all that you need is found in Jesus Amen. and the blood that he shed on Calvary's cross. Because he came. Mm -hmm. He came. See, when God looks at you, he doesn't see the wretched man that, that I am. But he sees his crucified son. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Before you formed your mother's womb, like I said, he knew you. He knew what you were going to do, but yet still, he knew you were going to fail. He knew you were going to say this, say this wrong, lie, scream, yell, do whatever, whatever you've done. He knew you were going to do all of that before he marched to Calvary's cross. Is that not an awesome thing? And just because of the blood that he shed, the blood that he shed has washed. That's why it's snow. The blood that he shed has allowed us into the Holy of Holies. Huh. Because when he died on Calvary's cross, when he said, it is finished, he meant it. No matter what you do, don't let this world tell you that, oh, no, 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 now you've gone too far. Now this, this, this will never happen. You've got enough, never, never, ever forgive you of this. Don't believe that. That's a lie from the pits of hell. That's right. My God is able and willing to forgive you all unrighteousness. That's right. Amen. And because of his blood, mm -hmm. my Lord, my Lord, because of his blood, <laughs> we're able to enter into the Holy of Holies. You see, when he died, the veil was rent from the top to the bottom, and he allowed us into the Holy of Holies. Because he's an awesome God and he's greatly to be praised. My Lord, my I want you to turn to Matthew 26. Matthew 26. 
26. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing, Nothing but, but the blood, blood of Jesus. Matthew 26 and 28. And it reads, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. I'm going to read that again. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Because he died. Huh? Because he died. Your sins, because you've asked him into your life. And because he died, because you're born again, your sins have been forgiven you. He says as far as the east is from the west, your sins are forgiven. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes. See, I meet so many people, Christians, non-Christians, and they dwell on what happened in the past, what I did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, I did this and I did that. And I did this and I did that. But the word says as far as the east is from the west. That's right. His sins has he forgiven you. Mm -hmm. He has forgiven you of your sins. So don't let the enemy come in like a flood and tell you that no, 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 you've done this and we can't forgive you. And I, and I can't forgive you. Don't let the enemy come in like that. Because just like with these kids, these kids, they just break my heart. Yes. That 19-year-old and that 20-year-old. It just breaks my heart. You know, they're listening to the enemy whispering in their ear. Tell him, and, it's, it's not, and there's another one I know not long ago, I think he was like 15 or something because he broke up with his girlfriend. But the enemy just comes in like a flood and he, and he comes in as a roaring lion. That's right. As a roaring lion. He's not a roaring, he's as a, he, I know it, he, he's always been watching since, since the beginning of time. That's right. And because I don't know, and I can't tell you what, what these kids, I know, but I know it, it wasn't the Lord that whispered in their ears to tell them to take their life. No. I know it was the enemy that did that. But then again, I can't tell you that they weren't born again. I can't tell you that because I know Christian after Christian after Christian that have suffered with yeah. depression. Amen. You know? Yeah. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. But my heart just goes out for that family. They, just, they suffer with that, that depression. And again, I, I, it's just the enemy. I know it's the enemy. He wants to stop you. He wants to, he wants to hinder you. He wants to keep you from, from sharing the gospel. Because the Lord said to go into the world and preach the gospel. He's trying to stop it. With all this stuff that's going on in the United States, he's trying to stop it. But the enemy doesn't know. In the end, I read, I read the word. I'm victorious. I win. That's right. I win. You win. In the end, you win. You're victorious in Jesus' Amen. name. Right. Though he comes in like a flood, you're victorious in Jesus' name. I want you to turn to Revelations. Revelations 12. Oh, the blood of Jesus. There's still power in the blood of Jesus and it washes white as snow. Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him, him, meaning Satan, by the blood of the Lamb. Right there, right there. You can overcome Satan, whatever thought, whatever thing that's going on in your mind, by the blood of the Lamb. Mm -hmm. This is Christ Jesus. That's right. By the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Mm. As Christians, I think we get distracted. And, 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 and I don't know. And, and we forget about how powerful our God is. How awesome our God is. How loving our God is. You see, he's never late. No. no. You know, he's always on time. Yes, he is. Is there anything too hard for my God? No, no, no. Is there anything no. too hard for my God? No. Oh, the blood of Jesus. My God. There's nothing too hard. I want, Dan, I want you to cue up this song for me. He's going to play this song for us. And I want you guys to listen to the words of it. Most of you guys know this song. You see, his blood will never, ever lose. Never lose.
back and it will never ever lose its power. So when it becomes in like a flood, know that the blood of Jesus has you covered. That's right. He's got you. He's got you. He's got you all over. He loves you. You're covered by the blood of Jesus. Because it will never lose its power. No matter what's going on in this world. And there's so much going on in this world, but I choose not to concentrate on that. I choose to concentrate on Jesus Christ and Him crucified in His blood that's covered me. Amen. Right. You know, that, that keeps me. That's right. He says, fear not, for I am with you, said the Lord. His blood has it all under control. Amen. What He did on Calvary's cross. Know this today. No matter what's coming against you, know Jesus. Jesus got this. Have confidence in the fact that Jesus has this. He has it all under control. Amen. All the blood of Jesus. And it washes white as snow. Hallelujah. 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 It's just that easy. See, I'm quick, fast, to the point. It's just that simple. All the blood of Jesus. I'm a, it's, just, it's an awesome thing. Yes, it is. He's awesome. And he's greatly to be praised. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gives me joy, 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 unspeakable joy and full of glory. Yes. My God, my God. He's an awesome God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Amen. Blood. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, Thank God, God for the word. And we need to know the word today. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be in the yes. word and know the word. Yes. Yep. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's all stand. Thank you. Father, we thank you and we praise you now for all that you've done for us. We thank you for that word going forth. And Father, we thank you for preparing the hearts of them to receive that word. And Father, that your Holy Spirit will continue to reveal your word to us, Father God. So we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go in the peace of God.